Okay, there's got to be some way to turn the wheel up here. Well there! Give a man some warning if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in cheek. The ground. Was that an earthquake? An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Spartalfheim. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. Think you can reach the wheel from here? you can reach the wheel from here? Oh wow, nice job getting it to lower exactly where we need it. I was thinking, because it's so warm, maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but maybe it's just different in Sparta Farm? I like. Thimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Thimble Winter doesn't always make it winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. Yeah! 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 
Watch your left! <laughs> They cap those geysers. Hmm. I think we need to get that wheel moving, but the water doesn't reach. Froze one of those geysers. Is there another one somewhere? Guys are up there just hit stronger. When you froze the guys, the pressure must have changed for the ones around it. Maybe there's a vantage point. We can get a better look.
Maybe there's a vantage point. We can get a better look.
Mister. Maybe there's a vent. We can get a better look. of an ingenuity for you. Back to the boat. If the dwarves of this realm are anything like Brock and Sindri, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke. Especially where gods are concerned. Get a better look. Go! Oh. 
Do you really think Odin would honor his end of the deal? That if we keep our distance, he'll leave us alone? No. That does not mean I intend to fight him. Perhaps we find a new home, where neither he nor Freya can trouble us. But once we find Tyr, he can help us fight. Fight? That's, uh, not what I meant. Obviously, we have so much to learn from Tyr. Any way he can help us is good, right? Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warmth? Then how shall we catch it? Flank it. Attack from behind. Good. Ah! 
Halfway there. There's gotta be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. You can uncover that geyser from here. I get it. If you freeze the geyser, the pressure will turn the wheel. Still the other chain to pull, but how are we gonna get to it? Is there something else we can hit? 
I still don't see how we can get up to that chain. Maybe you could try hitting the rope holding the block.
could try hitting the rope holding the block. Father, up there. Try hitting the rope holding the block. Maybe you could try hitting the rope holding the block. Can you see anything from that block? That's one of Cavassier's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. <laughs> Lad, if I may, what exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History. Let's hope Tears in a talkative mood after being in prison for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. That earthquake earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter, Maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be onto something, lad. This looks like a city. Welcome to neither of the young brothers. Hey, dwarves! 
Oh. They're, uh, running away. An alarm. I'd only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body. I was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why all that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Hey, could we talk we to you for a trouble, please? There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own. And hope they let us in. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him. Poor fear. The buildings here really are incredible. The detail in the woodwork is quite extraordinary. Turn your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got some. <laughs> need that. What is it, Dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Stones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oof, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain materials. Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for uh, finally trying it. What's it gonna be this time? Patience. I find it's best to see these things oh, in action. Uh. Take aim at that gate there, but before you loose, say, Skialfa. 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 Ah! Well, I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in need of How was I supposed to know they were there? Watch your right! Oh, this is a fine mess. Okay, so, 
Sterling. Atreus, this way. Best of luck. Seems like me, the Valir's locked down because of us. Mm. Outsiders are not welcome here. I imagine that large statue of Odin has something to do with it. Well, everyone's hiding on this side too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. The tavern's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe we can try knocking on some doors for directions. Hmm. <gasps> Let's just keep moving. Could you maybe? No! Thank you! Alpha. This looks promising, right? Well, it's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You. Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. Very well. Think that's him? Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there, and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down.
sorry. One more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now scamper off. Come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Earlier, Sindri made it sound like Derlin was some sort of rebellion leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following him. Was being the key word here, little brother.
There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Ugh, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Scald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. I particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. Mimir. Were you really the one who had those rigs built? Odin wanted the dwarves under his control, and, well, I convinced him he could buy their allegiance instead of demanding it outright. A trade agreement of sorts. Another one of those geysers, but huge. Maybe we could check it out later. We can see it fine from here. <laughs> those mining rigs sure spit out a lot of smoke. Huh. There's such a big bay. There's no fish. Must be because of the smoke from those mining rigs. the mining rigs is here see the smoke above us that's where we're headed let's see if we can't shut it down <laughs> bet we could swing across that uh lift then gantry gantry thanks Quite right. Gotta be the right spot. <gasps>
Those barrels. I smell fuel. Bet a spark from your blades would cause quite a boom. break through the ground here, if you found a high enough place to drop from.
Surprised the dwarves didn't shut these rigs off themselves. One or two tried. The Einher Yar made examples of them. They killed the dwarves? Can you have convinced them not to? Aye. That should help. Huh. Impressive. I think we can reach it there. Yeah, that looks right. The rig 
Looks like they chock a block with materials that could help us. I'd grab whatever it spits up in the process. agreed to the deal with Asgard, why do they blame you? I talked them into their own exploitation. They made their choice. Work or die is not a choice. I only made it seem so. What you just picked up there is pure Spartalfime ore. It won't be of use in the rig anymore, but perhaps our Huldra brothers could craft something from it. them built to harvest ore for armaments, essentially harnessing resources that would otherwise go to the dwarves. You think shutting these things down will help the dwarves become independent? I don't know, but I have to try something. Look, another mining rig. How many stories have you told about Odin and Thor, and all the bad things they've done? Let's see how many we can remember. Seems like Father could use his memory refreshed. My memory of them requires no refreshment. They invaded our home. Yeah, but I'm talking about history. All the other people they've hurt. Let's see. Not now. Taking a break before visiting Durlin? Very wise. He can be... a lot. What can I make for you? to all the armor we made you already? I used it. Well, maybe try to make this one last longer. I will not. might be my best piece yet today.
I'll disinfect my tools. Be safe! I'll heat up the forge. Glad to take that off your hands and wash it. Want something in particular? At your service. Whatever you need, I'll create. Good fit. fits.
Take care of your armor, and it'll take care of you. What can I make for you? By the way, if you're headed to the mining rigs in the bay, could you bring me any slag you find? I could use the material for my crafting. There's another mining rig on this island, brother. Smell that smoke. Why would the dwarves agree to work for the Aesir in the first place? That's the heart of it, eh? You lied to them. I lied to them. <sighs>
Find your brother! Huh! <laughs> 
Okay, Mimir. To the blacksmiths of Svartalfheim, the creation of a weapon was a sacred thing. But Odin just wanted as many blades as he could get, as fast as he could get them. With every stolen resource and mediocre blade, the dwarves lost a bit of themselves. Spartalfheim slag? Give it here. I'll disinfect my tools. Till we meet again! There, brother. Odin would have wiped out every last dwarf in Spartalfheim. If he couldn't use their skills, no one could. Think that crane still works? Smell the smoke? There's another mining rig here. You speak of your deed with shame. Do you regret not allowing Odin to kill them? I don't... If the dwarves didn't like working for Asgard, couldn't they just quit? And do what? <laughs> Their newly built fortress poisoned the soil of Svartalfheim. Unable to grow their own food, they had to buy it from Asgard. If they stopped working, they'd be taking food out of their own mouths. Oh, that's clever. And awful.
Seed to Moose Ball Hunt. Think it might lead to that combat arena we visited years ago? What makes you say that? Wishful thinking, I guess. Going through Surtur's Gauntlet, it was fun. It was training. You didn't have fun? Hmm. Well, anyway, we should look for the other half of the seed. Once it's whole again, we can see where it leads. Make it across. Spawning a little wretch is like there's no tomorrow. For her, it will be so. Yeah. <laughs> 
if you could call so meager a task done. A wee drop out of the Asgardian occupational bucket. You must live with your deeds, but do not be troubled by them, brother. Oh? And why not? You were given an impossible problem. Do not blame yourself for failing to solve it. I'm sure the dwarves would feel differently. This doesn't fix things. No. But it is a start. A reminder, brother. That Svartalfheim slag we collected could be of considerable use in the hands of Brock or Sindri. The air smells a lot cleaner. It's because we shut down the rigs. Back to Thor and Odin stories? Where were we? Okay. There was Thalmor, the stonemason. Aye. He quarreled with his son. Went into the night to find him, found Thor instead. And there was Thalmor's son, Grimther. Who built the walls of Asgard, and whispered something of importance to Freya before his betrayal and assassination. There was Groa, of course. The knowledge keeper and prophet of Ragnarok. Thor murdered her husband, and Odin covered it up before doing her in himself. You can't forget Amir, the first giant. Odin carved him up to form the realms from his body and let the torrent of his blood nearly drown every giant alive. What about the giants of Jotunheim? They all seemed dead when we finally made it there. That remains a mystery. Well, admittedly, it sounds like the Aesir God's dream. But what about Fjorgen? Thor's mother was a giant, wasn't she? Indeed she was. The circumstances of her demise were murky at best, but not sure I can blame Odin for that one. He wasn't the same after. Enough. We will continue later. <sighs> you again. I hope you're back to clean up the mess that extra head of yours made. We have done it. Doesn't fix what I did, but hopefully it makes things a bit better. Let's be off, brother. It's amazing. After all my time away, there is truly nothing I missed about this place. Thanks for grabbing that for us.
Nothing appeals to you? I'll heat up the forge. Huh. That might be my best piece yet today. Very good. Good fit. Want something in particular? And it's covered in blood. Thanks. Now, just because you've got new armor doesn't mean you should let yourself get knocked around more. Very well. Whatever you need, I'll create. Be safe!
father. Is it always moral to kill something that's trying to kill you? Yes. Well, there you have it, lad. Okay. What other terrible things have Odin and Thor done? Old. We will finish later. Should we get back to listing all the awful deeds of the Aesir gods? Oh, I know. There was Skavi. The Queen of the Hunt. Aye, she spurned Odin's affections, so he tricked her into killing her father. There was Starkather the Mighty, the Jotnar military leader. Slandered by Odin, tricked and murdered by Thor. And there was Thrym the Cunning, the giant king who stole Thor's hammer. Odin traded him Freya to get it back, then sent Thor in disguise to murder his entire court. Who else? Ah, Grung near the Brawler, the stone giant. Aye. Mocked by Odin, murdered by Thor. Enough of this. But there's more. I do not care. War with Odin is not the answer. Amir, what do you think it means? Seeing more raiders come back as Hellwalkers lately. I thought freeing the Valkyrie Queen was supposed to restore balance to the realms. We keep that from happening. That's a good question, lad. And a troubling one. If Hell's filled up again, it suggests that something's been hindering Sigrun's efforts. Or perhaps something even more urgent is keeping her distracted and unable to visit. Even occasionally. Yeah. Sorry, Mimir. So not all dwarves can do that thing Brock and Sindri do, right? Or they just walk between realms and turn up somewhere else? Indeed, that's a rare skill. I gather one carefully cultivated by some secretive dwarven guild or other. Probably for the best. Them alone doing it is disconcerting enough.
another of Cavassier's poems. Brother, you ever think of cooking meat with those blades of yours? No. They would foul the meat. Oh, because of the magic on them? The blood. Ah, yes. Carry on then. You collected Kavasir's stories? Give him here! Huge fan! Whatever you need. Well, if you change your mind... Atreus, you are getting better. Faster. I'd even be better than you one day, huh? If you are not, I have failed. Oh.
if it isn't my two favorite customers. And Mimir. Cinder. If it isn't my two favorite customers, and Mimir. Good to see you. Nothing, brother. Just you ever have those moments where you wish you could go back, rewrite your own past, make different decisions? Journeying through time is more trouble than it is worth. Ah, fair point. You're speaking metaphorically, right? No. Of course you're not. What's the deal with Odin's ravens? They can just transport him anywhere? Except for the realm between realms, thankfully. Why? Harder to find, thanks to dwarven enchantments and Yggdrasil's very own nature. Hmm. Lucky us.
Mimir, a little while ago you mentioned Odin's raven. What's to stop him from using them to pop into existence and kidnap anybody he wants? Consent. The only way to travel by Odin's ravens is by your own choice. Oh, it's not so bad then. Father, what was Spartan training like? Unforgiving. Is that why you didn't train me like one? Did you not think I could handle it? I did not think you should have had to. Thanks. <laughs> 